Ladies and gentlemen, this is Survival Radio Network, and I am Paula G here at the Dream Project at the Atlanta Marriott Marquis. Sitting with us is the creator herself, Miss Tanisha Jackson. She's the Hello. How are you? <laughs> it is so exciting to have you here. Thank you. And you were just the host of the Dream Project, and earlier in the opening session, you were sharing the theme for 2013. 14, 15, and 16. Can you just give us a quick recap of each yes. year? Yes, so year one was all about Imagine, uh -huh. um, unleashing the imagination. Yes. Year two was Gladiator. We determined that every like dreamer that had to fight the obstacles that stands between them and their dream. Mm -hmm. And then year three was the year of the stretch. Yes. That you must be willing to travel that distance outside of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. That's what we refer to as the stretch. Yes. The expansion that will be required of you right. to become the best version of yourself. Wow. And so those were our previous years. And uh -huh. this year uh, is unleash the creator within. I loved it. And we're really just talking to the creator that dwells in all of us. Mm -hmm. To create is to bring something new, original, to bring something forward, to bring something into existence. And I believe we were born to create. To and can you just share a couple of the, uh, the you gave the 10. Steps. Yes. yes, you gave 10 steps. I gave 10, I'll give you some of the top Great. ones. Number one is acknowledging the master creator. Mm -hmm. Um, for me, it's very important to acknowledge God as the yes. giver of the I dream, yes. the giver of the ideas, the giver of the business concepts. And if that's the case, you can sort of get into communication with God to co-create these ideas that are in our heart. Um, number two was going into the Creator's Agreement. Yes. And what I mean by that is there's no turning back once you decide to live a life on purpose, mm -hmm. um, to follow your dreams. There are no back doors to, you know, getting out of it. Mm -hmm. um, something else, the ability to see the white space. Great ideas that. are yeah, born by staying acutely aware to unmet needs. Mm -hmm. um, seeing what everyone else is sort of taking a look at, but yet they're not seeing it in the way that you see it. And you give a great example. Yes, a young 16-year-old girl who paid attention to something that bothered her. Her name's Lauren Sawyer. Um, someone was hungry at her school, and so she created a food pantry, a confidential food pantry um, that's in her high school. So those are just a few. Another one was embracing imperfection. I so, like that. You know, speaking to the perfectionist. Yeah, <laughs> letting go of the perfect moment. Mm -hmm. Just dive in. Just yeah. do it. And then you, you, you so, finally you, you share with the audience that everybody has to have a little bit of thug in them. Yes. <laughs> you might want to break that down a little bit. Yes. So basically, <laughs> I, I told them, I said, you know, if, if we're going to be gladiators, yes. to me, you know, have a little thug in you too. You know, be you willing to. scrap a little bit. Yes. <laughs> Because it's not for the weak of heart. This is not for the no, weak of heart. No, no, no. Not at all, not at all. And you also own a company, Igami? Yes, Can you tell I us do. Just a little bit about that? So Igami is a multicultural marketing firm based in New York City. Um, the firm has been into existence nearly 10 years now. We work with Fortune 100 brands to come up with marketing campaigns to reach diverse audiences. Wow, that is wonderful. And what do you want your participants today to take away from all of this? What do you want the participants? Well, I want them, one, to tap into the dream that is within them, giving themselves time to be with that dream mm -hmm. without talking yourself out of it, Ooh. you know? Like, <laughs> right be here, with the dream, exactly. Yeah. So that's really important, just yeah. giving yourself the space and time to imagine and be with your dream. Um, the second thing is, after we give them that time, making sure that they're energized, they're motivated, and they're equipped with tools when they leave here, that they can actually go manifest that dream. So that would be the, the, the hope and the intention for, them. Um, for all of them. Yeah. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, Tanisha Jackson, I mean the creator, the dream project. This woman is just awesome. She, she's a fighter. She's got a little thug in her. She's a fighter. <laughs> she's persistent. Uh, you know, she. It, this was not an easy uh, journey for you to get here, and you just persevered and just 
it, to me the epitome of strength and grace under fire. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, we just wish you the best. Thank, Thank you, thank you so, so much. much. Yes, yes. All right. Yes, that is great. Yes. That is great. Oh, I Yeah.